Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Today we are doing the No Box Art Box Challenge again. We are doing it for the 11th time here on this channel. Thank you so much to everyone else who has done the No Box Art Box, especially if you have posted it to YouTube. Make sure I see it if I haven't so I can add you to the master playlist. What is the No Box Art Box? Well, it's a pretty simple challenge. Pick any past art or craft subscription box, or really, if you want to figure out how to apply this to another type of box, you can do that too. Just as long as it's already gone out so you can look up what was in it. Step two, match the supplies that were in the box with things you already own. So it doesn't matter if you are redoing a box you did get or if you're matching a box you didn't get. The only catch here is if you did get the box you're using, you cannot use those exact supplies unless you also got them from something else, from another box, bought it yourself again after, that kind of thing. So yeah, match the supplies using what you already own, don't just use the box you're doing. Obviously if it's missing something essential like a pencil or a piece of paper that's fine, but don't go adding stuff that isn't in the box that you know, changes the game. <laughs> Step three, do the challenge. Create art or do your craft or whatever it is you're doing with just the supplies you have pulled out to match. And if the box originally had a prompt or a theme like Scrawlerbox does, then do try to stick to it. Use the hashtag NoBoxArtBox, all one word, anywhere on social media when you post what you do with this challenge so I can see it. And if it's a YouTube video, I will try my best to add you to the master playlist as soon as possible. This month, we are doing Scrawler Box May 2017. And I've actually been waiting to do this one for a while because I have supplies for it, oddly enough. What was in it? Well, this was the workspace highlight themed box. That was the challenge. We had the Stedler Triplus Mobile Office, that was £5.99, that is British Pound Sterling. I will have all of these prices and the conversions to Canadian and US dollars in the description box down below, along with how the subscription works for Scrawlerbox, in case you're curious, in case you want to subscribe. I am a Scrawlerbox subscriber myself, I love it, and coincidentally they have actually seen me do this challenge and they love it, so you know, it's, it's all good. I wasn't subscribed in 2017, I didn't get this box. The mobile office came with a black triplus fine liner, a blue triplus ballpoint pen, a 0.5 millimeter triplus mechanical pencil, and a 1 to 4 millimeter tapered nib yellow triplus highlighter. They also sent Kohinoor highlighter pencils. So a six pack on Amazon is worth five pounds. Just let me make a note. That is for the six pack. Six pack on Amazon is worth five pounds. So they sent out three, so they're gonna tell us it's worth 250 or they're gonna break it down to how much that is each. You can get these in the six pack in yellow, orange, red, pink, green, and blue. The videos I've gone and looked up, those people received orange, red, and blue, but that's not exactly what's on the website. I have seen on the website they got pink, not red, so I think it was randomized. They sent out Stabilo Point Max 0.8 millimeter nib black pen that was one pound oh two. And I'm not sure if that's the same as Pen68 or not. Kinda looks the same, just with the clip on the cap. <laughs> they sent out three M lighter fluorescent pens, that's M and G's highlighter pens. They are 30 pounds each. You can get them in pink, blue, orange, purple, and green. They sent three, and the video I checked received pink, purple, and blue, and on the website for Scrawlerbox they just have a picture of the blue one. Again, I think that was randomized. And then for the surface, for the substrate, they sent a Sylvine Field Sketchbook. That's an A5 size, 40 pages, 140 GSM. It's a mixed media sketchbook. 
and on Amazon that's going for £14.90. So what am I going to use to recreate this box? Well, for that mobile office it's going to be quite the mix. I do have a Stedler Triplus Fineliner. That's where it ends for actual Stedler products that I'm going to be using. Ballpoint pen, I have a generic Bic. Mechanical pencil, I'm going to use my Pentel Orens. That is one of the ones I actually have in 05. I have uh, 2H lead in this. The mobile office probably comes with HB. And then for a highlighter, I have a Bic Brightline highlighter. For the Koei Noor highlighters, I'm going to use M&G highlighter pencils. Coincidentally, that's the fluorescent pens brand. <laughs> and I do not have a blue in my collection, so I'm going to use green instead. And out of the other colors, I have chosen to use orange and pink. I do also have yellow kind of a vermilion color and a, a mixed one. If you want to see me use the mixed one, I can do that. Let me know. <laughs> For the Stabilo pen, I'm going to use my Stabilo Pen 68. There's that nib again. I don't know if this is the same thing and the Point Max just has a different cap. <laughs> kind of looks like the same thing. I'm not sure. For the fluorescent pens, the highlighter pens, more Bix, I'm going to use a pink, a blue, and a, an orange. Again, the video I watched, they had pink, blue, and purple, that's the one they received. I could use my uh, Pilot Friction Erasable Purple, but I really hate them. I don't currently have a regular highlighter in purple. My choice was orange or green, and I think I can do more with the orange. And for the paper, I'm going to use the very last, <laughs> the very last page in my West Design A5 sketchbook. It's exactly the same thing, 40 pages, 140 GSM paper. This was sent out in the March 2019 scrawler box, and as you can see by my label, I mostly used it for Mermaid. <laughs> but it's okay, I do have... I do have an entire sheet not used in the back, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead. Let's pretend that it's May 2017, and let's replicate this scholar box. Absolutely everyone is welcome to try this challenge, and if you do, I encourage you to use the hashtag NoBoxArtBox, all one word, wherever you upload so I can see it. Feel free to message me if you want to be extra sure I see it, especially if you upload a YouTube video, since I curate a master playlist for this challenge, and I would love to add your video to it. This round, I am going to tag Jazz Capri, All Funnies and Games, and The Lori Files. By the way, if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and turn on notifications. Normally, I upload twice a week minimum, every Tuesday and Thursday, with bonuses some weeks. This month, I'm uploading every single day up to and including Christmas with Christmas and other holiday-themed art and talking points. And then I'll be taking my usual holiday break over New Year's. Officially, my channel will be back on Thursday, January 9th, but if I can get enough extra footage prepared in time, I may schedule a video for the second as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments and I do reply to everyone. So as I hinted in the beginning, I've had these M&G highlighter pencils for quite some time now, and I've been meaning to use them to do some sort of highlighter art challenge. I got them off of either Wish or AliExpress, and they were quite cheap. They also came with a plastic manual pencil sharpener, and one of the two pencils I didn't use is multicolored. Kind of like the Koinor Magic pencils. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing me play with that one in a future video. I've also got a couple mixed color lead pencils from a run of Happy Meal products McDonald's did earlier this year, so I could compare them. Unfortunately, I don't have the proper Koinor ones to compare them to. 
Honestly, I'm not all that interested in getting them, and I wouldn't have the MNG one if it wasn't part of the package with the highlighter colors. I think they're gimmicky, and I can't see any practical use for a pencil with multicolored lead, because generally if I'm using colored pencils, I want to have precise control over where I put each color. A lead that will lay down a different color if you angle it two degrees clockwise from where you are right now kind of defeats the purpose. What do you think? For the piece, since the prompt was workspace highlight, I decided to reference my own pencil organizer thingy on my desk and draw a bunch of writing tools of the shapes we have here for the challenge resting in a container like that. And I colored each with a different item that we had to use in this challenge. I'll admit this isn't my best art, but I wasn't going for proper fine art here. I was going for an I'm bored at work or I'm tired of studying so I'm doodling kind of vibe. And in that light, I think I got it. Unfortunately, the black ink I put down on the pen holder thing first smeared a lot under everything else and even with the eraser. I was so tempted to start again actually when the eraser smeared it, but I didn't have any completely blank pages left in the sketchbook after doing this doodle, only the backside of two pages, and I didn't want to be fighting against any ghosting, so I had to just go with it. The blue highlighter I used to fill in the background also seems to be getting a little dry. Oops. <laughs> I did pause partway through doing that bit to check and see if I had another blue highlighter I could swap out, but apparently not. This is the one and only blue highlighter in my collection at the moment. It's at least six years old and I'm amazed any of them work still. As I'm writing and recording this scripted voiceover section here, I'm not entirely sure how many minutes the edited cut of that intro and supply selection will be, but it feels like this is going to be a bit shorter than average for a no box art box video. I'm gonna use the excuse that this is only number three of 25 videos I have to put out this month as opposed to the typical 10-ish, so I'm allowed to be brief. <laughs> as per usual, I'll have the original box's supplies and prices in pounds along with the conversions to USD and Canadian dollars and calculations on the box value minus subscription and shipping cost so you can see if this box would have been worth it for you and perhaps consider trying Scrawlerbox if you haven't already. Keep in mind that most of the time Scrawlerbox does send out actual art supplies, not this uh, office stationery highlighter challenge kit. <laughs> and I do have lots of actual Scrawlerbox videos on my challenge to check out if you're interested, including my recent 19 box Is It Worth It review. This is, of course, a recreation of an old Scrawlerbox, not the actual one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you try the NoBox Artbox Challenge yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow with an important message about the difference between art referencing and art theft. See you then!